Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is KDK Keel Dyken. Hope you all are having a great evening. And so, um, as you guys know, we've been doing a lot of emulation tests and videos with the Raspberry Pi 5. And I wanted to bring you guys a very important Raspberry Pi 5 update as to how it pertains to emulation and what's going on with some of the boot up issues that I've seen reported and has been reported uh, not directly back to me, but what I've heard, you know, from some others. Uh, we've had a few Raspberry Pi 5 concerns uh, in regards to how RetroPie is booting up. And unfortunately, it looks like we're having the same issue as we did with the Raspberry Pi 4 with these EEPROM updates and some images aren't booting and aren't booting. So there are two different versions of the Raspberry Pi 5. We have the four, uh, the four gigabyte model and the eight gigabyte model. And it's been brought to my attention that some of you are having issues booting up things on the Pi 5 4 gigabyte model. Some of you are maybe having issues with the particular SD card. And this is why I always stress and make the statement that, you know, a lot of content creators and people uh, telling you that the five, you know, that there's no difference. We don't know until we're actually in development. And a lot of people putting out these comments saying, just go out and get either one, it doesn't matter. It does, or it could make a difference uh, based upon what's going on right now, whether you have the four gigabyte or the eight gigabyte model. Some of you are reporting b uh, black screens on your four gigabyte model. Some of you are having boot up issues. There's also people having issues where you have a, the SSD uh, works will boot, but the SD card doesn't boot. Now, please keep in mind, um, I haven't been able to test some of the newer bills that are out there, but again, uh, we've, I've talked about this many times before. We don't know anything until we truly get into development. And usually when I do a review, I'm recommending things based upon how I've actually tested it, how I've tried it. And it's very imperative uh, for the most part to use kind of the equipment that we've tested it. So that way you guys have a better idea. So apparently as of now, there are, seems to be a difference between the four gigabyte and the eight gigabyte model. This could also come into play with maybe some of the earlier versions right now from the Pi 5 are different than the ones that we have now, even than the ones that I've booted up or purchased a couple of weeks ago. If you guys know content creator Lee PSP, uh, he made a statement uh, saying a few weeks ago, or actually his initial review of the Raspberry Pi 5, he couldn't overclock correctly. So he had to buy uh, some new ones in order to do that because they weren't able, he wasn't able to get the same overclocking values. Uh, I have my Pi 5. I've done my overclocking. However, I have two new Pi 5s. Uh, one is waterproofed. I have a video coming up on that. And then I have another one. I haven't plugged any one of those in as of yet. I have not gotten it to it yet. So I don't know if those are perform better or if they have a different performance versus the one that I purchased. Um, what was that back in November when it was uh, from the first order or so when I was in the first batch. So again, making this video to make you guys aware that there seems to be a difference right now between the two Pi 5 models in regards to RetroPie. I'll, I'll keep it more specific in regards to what we're working with. I'm not speaking for Batacera or Recall Box. That could also be an issue. I'm also not speaking on behalf of maybe some other programs if you guys are using it for robotics or AI programs. I haven't touched those, so primarily I'm speaking in regards to something that I'm working with. It could happen with something that you're working with, but as of right now, there could be some different issues. I know that there were some recent EEPROM updates. Um, we're going to look into that, but please keep in mind, this is a hobby. This is something that we work on. Uh, we don't get paid. Most of this stuff is all done for free out of our own time and full, you know, we definitely thank for all the donors and whatnot, but uh, we don't have any control over EEPROM updates and updates that are made to the board. But these are things that I've always been cautious about. And we hear, you know, when we watch videos, oh, there's no difference between the four gigabyte and the eight gigabyte model. They're all the same. We never know until we truly get into development. And so just wanted to issue that warning uh, to all of you because some of you are having those concerns. Uh, I know that the Supreme Bill, for example, was built originally on the Pi 5 4 gigabyte model. Uh, there's some variances between that and also a few of the eight gigabyte models. We don't know because the answers are consistent. Sometimes it works on the eight gigabyte model and sometimes there's another eight gigabyte model uh, that it does, maybe there's a boot up issue or some other performance differences. 
again, we, we're, we're testing this stuff, but just wanted to issue out this word of admonishment to everybody, just giving you guys the heads up for those of you having those issues. I personally have not experienced anything in terms of optimizations, uh, booting up issues. Again, all of my videos are done uh, just straightforward. If there was an issue, I would tell you guys in my tutorials. But again, I'm only going off of uh, what I've seen reported from others. And some of these reports do seem to be valid. I've talked to some other devs and they've also experienced this uh, themselves where there is a lack of consistency between one Pi 5 8 gigabyte model and another. And then also the four gigabyte model in returns to uh, booting up and some of the performance differences with uh, PlayStation 2 emulation. So I will give you guys a better update when I find out more about that. But again, Please, people, stop telling everybody that the four the four gigabyte model and the eight gigabyte model are the exact same thing. We don't even know if they added a different capacitor. We don't know. We honestly don't know. And you know, we try to push forward. There's only a limited number of us, you know, that look at these certain things. But this is why, you know, working with these ARM boards, uh, it's it's really taxing because there's so many different variables. That's why a lot of people have gone to mini PCs and x86 because we don't have this issue x86 is x86 the support is there but when it comes to arm and these single board computers uh these are some of the reasons why people are pushing off to you know some of the other uh technology that is out there and honestly i don't blame them you know and i had the same kind of concern with the orange pie uh the orange pie 5 and they came out with the plus and then now they got a different version we can't guarantee some of this stuff will boot. We have no idea if they've changed anything, if the OS is the same, if the kernel is the same. And then, you know, we, we push something out in general. We hope that is universal. And then we find out that it's not. And then we got to spend more time figuring that out so you guys can have an enjoyable experience. So I wish it was, you know, a little simpler, but it is what it is. We have to keep pushing forward or we choose not to. You know, so that's one of the reasons why uh, a lot of people kind of backed away from the hobby, you know, touching different things or experimenting with it. And then, you you know, you release something and then there's a ton of t customer service questions where we think something is uh, kind of, I wouldn't say so much foolproof, but we think it's kind of foolproof, like it's ready to go. And then there's issues for concerns and then we got to kind of address some of those concerns. But at any rate, just thought I'd let you guys know, give you guys a heads up that we are aware of it. Uh, and to put the proper perspective out there, we could take some time. If you're not having an issue, you know, thank goodness. But please, if you are having an issue, if you're using a Supreme or, or, or Image or RetroPie, please direct all of your questions and concerns to the direct RetroPie group, or please write down your questions, and then we'll do a live stream to kind of do a live stream video to address everybody in one simple form or fashion. I know a lot of people have been reaching out to the Supreme Retro Gaming Facebook page, but please try to keep it open. You know, put them in a group to where there's more eyes and ears that can actually see your questions or concerns. Just write it down and then maybe we address it in a live stream. We want to try to do things in a nice uh, professional manner. So the little people who are involved in this process aren't burnt out trying to answer every little individual question that there could be. Um, and you know, this is one of the reasons why we've tried to simplify how we release things because if people aren't aware or in a position to answer these questions, then you know it leaves you guys in limbo. So anyway, I'll keep this short. You guys all have a great night. That's pretty much the update right now. I will catch you guys later and have a good evening.